All right, dogs, get a little calculator hack for you here when you're trying to find your zeros from a graph. Because I was noticing today, kids were struggling with the whole left bound, right bound guess thing when the graph is pretty steep because left is up, right is down, then you guess. But then if you want to get the other one, now it flip flops, kind of tough. So it starts the same. We're going to hit second trace. I'm going to choose option two there, which is zero. Hit enter. Now, instead of arrowing left and right for my bounds and whatnot, instead, I'm just going to pick a value that uh, is a little less than what I am guessing my zero is going to be. So it's going to be like four point something. So why don't I type either three or two? I'll pick three. Hit enter. It puts the arrow there. It puts the little line right there. And now I'm going to go to the right of it. So I want to go larger than what I thought it was, like four point something. So I can choose five or six. Hit five. Enter. Enter. It puts the bounds for me. So now it's surrounded it there, right? It's got those little two vertical lines that are going around that zero. I'm pointing all over the place. I just got to hit enter one more time. And boom, there is my zero. I got 4.1 and change. I got it. And I can do that on the other side as well. It also works for max and mins, all the good stuff. You can type that value, hit enter instead of arrowing to set your bounds, which is pretty dope. Hope that helps you guys keep on mathing. And of course, stay positive, dogs.